Dr. Curtis there just literally, you know, reiterating the saying that says the day you stop learning is the day you die. So we always, as long as you're on this earth, you always have to keep learning. That's what smart people do. Welcome to the conversation on TOS Television Network, your digital first for African news network. And as always, we're coming to you from Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. I'm going to be talking about something that is quite controversial and, you know, quite interesting and engaging on a big story segment of the conversation today. But before then, I bring you COVID-19 updates from across Africa. And after that, we're delving straight into the crux of the conversation. That's the big story. You're still watching the conversation on TOS Television Network. And as I always say, you have to be a part of the conversation. Just join us across our social media communities. It's TOS TV Network on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Subscribe to the channel on YouTube. It's TOS TV Network. And of course, stream our website for news and stories from across the world. It's www.tostvnetwork.com. Now moving straight into the discourse for today. Um, something quite interesting happened, you know, on the ongoing constitutional reviews. The, the bill to support diaspora participation in election and governance was thrown out, and that has, you know, sparked a lot of uh, conversation and controversial, you know, issues. Uh, um, some of the opinion that despite recognition of the potential of the diaspora, um, there's still a lot of challenges that Nigerians in the diaspora face as regards, you know, uh, participating in, in governance and socioeconomic development of Nigeria. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. Nigerians in the diaspora, challenges and, you know, privileges. And to join me in having that conversation over the phone uh, is Alester Wilkos, a chartered accountant and by extension an economist. Good morning and welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. So let, let's move straight into it. Nigerian claims to have, you know, recognized the potential of the diaspora um, as a veritable tool for socioeconomic development. But that same community have constantly, you know, um, accused the government of not really supporting them and denying them the right to actively participate in socioeconomic development of the country. How would you respond to that? Well, thank you very much. Uh, as uh, I wouldn't know where that uh, allegation is coming from, mm. but um, uh, be it as it may, uh, we must understand the fact that um, every country has sets of rules and objectives and privileges. Mm. Uh, diaspora, the, uh, uh, those in the diaspora are very, very important uh, component of any country's socioeconomic development. Mm. Uh, diaspora movement since uh, since modern civilization uh, movement across borders have been as old as the world started because people have to migrate to yeah. other places yeah. to make a living uh, and then uh, return back home uh, it, both it can be international it can be domestic I mean if you leave your village to Abuja you, I mean you are, you are you are migrating so but because it's international in nature it's called diaspora yes and so um there are uh, there, there are certain things that of course when you're away and those who are home cannot uh, 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 cannot participate equally mm. but talking about this government i think i think this is the first time that there's a commission uh, uh, the, the the diaspora commission that was established in, in Nigeria yeah. to really harness the, uh, the 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 gains or the uh, or I mean to bring the issues of diaspora uh, 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 citizens to the fore mm. and it's a whole commission uh, it's not just a department it's not just uh, a section it's a commission of its own under the presidency headed by Bikeda Bill yeah. so that commission is supposed to take care of the needs aspirations and interests of those in diaspora now. We, just, we had a commission, I think it's about five, six years ago, about five, four, five years ago, mm -hmm. uh, that, that they came on board. And then um, within this short period, we can see how much impact they have made, maybe because of the leadership, how much impact 
that have been made in terms of bringing to fore issues about diasporas, you know, uh, those in diaspora. And these persons are very, very key in economic development because mm. diaspora remittances all over the world is constitute a very major chunk of any national uh, GDP calculation. Yeah. And in Nigeria, it cannot be it cannot be overemphasized. The money that comes in from diaspora, from those in diaspora, is huge. Mm. And uh, you can see what happened during the during the uh, the, the COVID nineteen. Yes. Uh, they are doing uh, the 2000, in 2000 during COVID uh, lockdown when remittances were not coming. You see what happened to our naira. Yes. Because the the the, the secondary source of foreign, foreign exchange into uh, the, the second source, apart from the sale of crude oil and other exports. The second major source of, I mean, is diaspora remittances, and that is very, very huge, and that is what brings a lot of liquidity to the forex market. Okay. So when that happened in 2000 and the, in 2020, that is, it saw the ripple effect on our naira. It tumbled and tumbled because there were no, no liquidity. So they are quite important. They are very, very important, and no country, I tell you, no country we joke or we play with issues concerning diaspora uh, uh, residences in terms of the socioeconomic development of the various countries. Okay, it's good that you actually mentioned diaspora remittances because I do know that remittances from the diaspora to Nigeria, it's been in billions of dollars. And Nigeria at some point was hinged on, you know, remittances that came in from, from that community. But having to deny them participation, active participation in policies and, you know, government uh, activities in the country, even though they've been clamoring to be a part of it, do you see that affecting remittances in maybe in, in the next few years or in the future? Well, uh, I don't think so. Well, remittances to families, friends, open of businesses in mm. Nigeria mm. and uh, acquiring of assets is quite different. I mean, because that is your personal. Now, it it, it has an effect in the country's economy because yes. it, uh, it it increases liquidity of uh, the, the foreign currencies that you have. So it's part of your foreign exchange management uh, system. Now, and that, of course, that basically does not go to governments. It goes to your private families and all whatnot. Oh, yeah. Now, talking about the the last, um, the, 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 what is ongoing in the National Assembly, mm. talking about diaspora voting, it is not a, it is not every country that has diaspora voting. It mm. takes a lot of logistics. And I think um, the National Assembly is looking from that direction. Mm -hmm. The logistics, I'm sure even the most advanced countries yeah. uh, wouldn't have started diaspora voting just at the, at the, at the, at the twilight, I mean, at the peak, I mean, at the, at the, at the, at the onset of their democracies. Mm. I'm not sure even the Indian government, I, I'm not aware, I might be wrong, I'm not aware that the Indian government has diaspora voting because in Nigeria, you have lots and lots of Indians. Yes. I'm not sure. So I, so I wouldn't say for certain. I'm also I'm, I'm also aware that I, I know that the South Africans do not have their private voting because of their community in Lagos do not in Nigeria I don't think they participate in voting. Mm -hmm. Now Nigeria has a quite substantial number of um, diaspora of, of of citizens in the diaspora that yeah. is the other community cut across every part of the world. Every I, I'm not sure there's anywhere in the world you go you will not find a Nigeria. True. Now if you have to pass a law that Diaspora uh, voting voters should be allowed to participate in the in the electoral processes. Mm. You are also going to create polling units in every country of the world, mm. or at least close to the nearest country of the world, mm. maybe close of countries in a place like the United States of America, as vast as it is, where you have many big, very big Nigerian community. Yeah. How many voting, how many polling units will you will, will you establish? Mm. In how many cities? So I think these are some of the logistics challenges. Okay. If you say somebody should go to Washington, where you have the embassy, or go to New York, where you have the consulate, or, uh, or somewhere, I mean, the people will travel from Maine, and people will travel from Alaska, and people will travel from 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 North Dakota, South Dakota, to go to those areas to go and cast their vote. And mm -hmm. again, that will not create more challenges because it will not be okay. You need to bring it close to us. Yeah. So there are, there, are, there could be so much. Uh, logistic challenges and so the best thing for now is to let it hang let me let it be until such a time when we can afford it because really and truly mm. it's not a sentiment thing it's a really it's, it's a purely economic and logistic issues okay. and right now Nigeria is not in the process is not in the position anywhere to 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 to, to be able to breach that um, that logistic uh, uh, gap for us to have 
such streamless uh, voting. And then uh, 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 the, 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 those in diaspora cannot claim that they are ex excluded from participation. Right, most, times, most times, uh, 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 most positions are filled from persons from the diaspora, mm. even ministerial positions. Sometimes, even those who never participate in any election in Nigeria, in any of the processes, they are being brought in from the diaspora to come and hold, hold some post. You remember our former Minister of Finance? Mm. She came in, she came in, came in, came in, came in, came in uh, what's her name now? Came in from the UK, and by the time she had the pro issue and she left, she went back to her, to her base. We have so many commissioners of, uh, commissioners of Finance in every state. We have so many people that have been brought in from uh, outside. If Koko Jiwela has, been a, has always been a diaspora person. She has mm. always been brought in, go back, brought back, go in. We, we have all of them. Um, uh, the former agriculture, who is now the, 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 the president of uh, African, uh, what they call African Development Bank, Bank and all okay. that. They were all in diaspora, but they were brought in to participate in, the, in domestic politics. Okay. So uh, it, there's, it, there's no cutoff between the diaspora uh, community and the local community in terms of participation. It's just that they are not, they don't have voting rights. They don't have voting rights as now because of where they reside. Okay, um, let, let's quickly look at having um, investing in Nigeria um, uh, from the diaspora. A lot of um, them have complained that some of the challenges they have is partnership, right opportunities, ease of doing business. How how do you see um, um, how do you see this being tackled, and like how can that be adjusted? Well, it it depends on where you source your information. Um, mm. Sincerely. Sometimes we underrate or degrade our country because we, are, we, are, we, we lack information or mm. we lack the best place to go. Mm. One of the biggest information hub in Nigeria today is the Expo Promotion Council. Mm. We have the Expo Promotion Council in Nigeria. We have the Bank of India. We have so many agencies where anybody can go and source for information. Mm. We have professional bodies. We have professionals. We have professionals. We have uh, 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 consultants, consultative firms. We have wide range of uh, 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 business architecture and architecture. We have a lot of. Some people have not even read some of the laws being passed mm. in ways of doing business. I'm not sure. How, I'm, I, I wonder if people have read the recently promulgated the Company and Other Matters Act. I don't know how many people have read it. People will just take snippets and that will that will create problem and they will just spread. How many people have read the, the law? From 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 page, from page to page. How many have read about the Finance Act? We have like three now. We have 2020, 2021, 2022 Finance Act. These acts are always enacted in order to bring to the fore government positions, ease of doing businesses, areas you can get help. So there are so many. Mm -hmm. You have professional bodies like ICANN, Annan, so many that you can consult. And you have, but you see, most people they prefer to do their things between themselves and their families. Mm -hmm. You want to start a business, instead of going for a, to a professional for an advice and get proper advice, you give your brother money, and then the, the man swindles the money. You give your, you want to buy land, you give to your family members, or uh, build house, you give to your family. We, ha we have such stories. Footballers, uh, footballers playing abroad, abroad, they have so much money that they have sent to the country. Mm. Sometimes some of, some, some of them go and enter the hands of Frosta because they do not go to the right sources. There's no good the right sources to get information. You might say, okay, government departments are so slow and all that, but that, 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 that but they can, you can get valuable information. There are there are professional bodies, there are consultants, there are the big four that won't give anybody problems. There are the big four uh, uh, accounting firm in the country today mm -hmm. that are open for consultancy. There are the smaller ones like us that have our small small consulting firms who can give you right advice, put you through. So you don't need only your families to get businesses done through. Okay. There, are, there, there are so many. Bank of Industry is there. There are so many organizations that people can approach, people in the diaspora can approach, get proper information, get proper understanding, and then invest properly and, reap, and, and get their reward. Okay. It's not just going through their families or going through one uh, uh, monile. You want to buy land, you want to do it yourself. No, it, you might end up not having. But again, and again, we can also, uh, also appreciate them because a lot of professionals has done a lot of investment. Most of the houses in Lekki are built by them. Most of the lands today that are being bought are bought by them. Businesses are growing up. Footballers have lands all over the place. and all. So they are also doing quite bad. Like you said, most of them go to the wrong hand. Most of them don't get the proper information. Most of them don't source for information. Most of them do not expand their horizon outside their family circles mm. to get proper advice and proper information from where they could get independent and proper help.
So that's th those are some of the the the, the, the downside of uh, where the diaspora uh, 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 community find it difficult to want to invest, and they have negative ideas about Nigeria. Okay. Go for the information, go to the right sources, and you get the, the proper information, and you get the proper investment channel, and you have uh, a proper investment that will yield proper dividends for you, even at your retirement or when you want to come back home. Okay, thank you so much for joining me on the conversation this morning. Thank you. It's always my pleasure. And thank you for staying with me up until this time on the conversation. I hope you did learn one or two things, whether you're in Nigeria or you're in the diaspora, or you're planning, you know, to become a Nigerian in the diaspora. Thank you so much. But, well, you know, you have to be a part of the conversation. Just follow us across our social media platforms. It's TOS TV Network on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the channel to subscribe to on YouTube. It's TOS TV Network. And, of course, stream our website, www.tostvnetwork.com for news, stories, and happenings from across the world. Thank you again. My name is Adesa Walsuyi, and I'll see you again tomorrow.